Shalom, shalom. Hey guys, come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in, come on in. Capacity part two. Capacity part two. Capacity part two. Capacity. Hey, first timer, how are you today? Capacity part two. Capacity part two. We're talking about capacity. Yesterday I started talking about capacity and and we were talking about exactly what that means and so i referenced hey angel writer god bless you share 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 come on in come on in we're gonna talk about we're gonna pick this up from yesterday it's gonna be a short one it's gonna be a short one it's gonna be a short one <laughs> it's gonna be a short one god bless you thank you so much for joining hey thank you so much for inviting followers yes hallelujah all right so all right get your notes get your pens all right so we talked about yesterday that you have to be able to hear the sound of heaven you have to be able to hear and respond to the sound of heaven and that oh okay yeah i hope you yeah i hope it's good today i hope it's good so yesterday we were talking about being the voice print and the sound from heaven in the earth and so we're picking up from yesterday talking about capacity do you have a high capacity or a low capacity remember yesterday i referenced on yokanan john chapter 16 verse 12 where yeshua says i have many 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 things to tell you but you could not bear it right now and that word bear means to endure you cannot endure it you could not arise to the occasion because that word bear means arise. It means uh, endure. It means to be able to carry. It also, and it's the Hebrew word nasa, nasa, N-A-S-A, -A, nasa. It means to marry, to commit to, to be at one with, to agree to. All right, so, and so now we're looking at the word uh, capacity, which is the ability to receive, the ability to receive or contain. Can you contain it? Can you receive it? Can you hold on to it? Can you hold on to it? Are, where, where's the room? It also has to do with mental ability. Can you take it? Can you deal with it? Where, where up here are you going to put it? Is your mind so cluttered with things that you have no room? for new information, for new revelation, for the word of God. Do you, where, where are you on that? All right, that, that's what we're talking about today. Um, it also has to do with power of receiving impressions or knowledge, mental ability, mental ability, mental ability to withstand and endure. Shalom, God bless you, thank you for joining. So we need to make room, we need to detox and we need to de-junk. There's too much going on, too much going on, too much going on, and you get, and then you wind up procrastinating. Why? We, why do people procrastinate? Because whatever it is, that means basically it's not that important to you. It's not that important. It's, it's, and, and we just have to be honest and tell the truth. It's not, if you procrastinate, it's because it's not that important to you. Or you're fearful. It's, it's one or the other. You're either fearful, why? Why are you afraid? So when God created you, he knit you altogether lovely in your mother's womb. And we are earthen vessels. So if she was the container, it's the truth anyhow, Felicia, it's the truth. So if, if, if we are earthen vessels, we're containers. Women are containers. So if you're a container, if you're a woman and you're a container and then you get pregnant, that's something being put in you. God had to now make room for you in her womb. And then your gifts were put into you. So he had to make, there, there had to be a certain amount of capacity for you to carry those gifts. And then when you came into the world, you carried that with you. So you were a container in a container containing. Containing what? Containing the mind of God, the will of God, the gifts of God. So that you can, look, your gifts will, we talked about making room for God yesterday. We have to make room for Him. But His gifts that He's given you will make room for you. So there's no place on this planet that there's no room for. Now, if you willingly pull back and you hide and you put your talents in the dirt, that's your fault. So you have to be able 
You have to be able, you, you, this is your responsibility. It's not God's fault. It's not his fault. It's not her fault. This is on you. This is on you. I promise you. This is on you. Because what God has given you, you are a, supposed to be a steward over. Its capacity also has to do with position and functionality. In what capacity do you serve? Does that make sense? In what capacity are you serving? So capacity works one or two ways. It's about making room. Yesterday I said if a ship has the capacity to hold 100 people, but 200 people are trying to get on that ship, that means there's no room. If you want to come to my house and I've run out of beds, if I want you in my house, watch this, if I want you in my house, then I have to intentionally make room for you. That's how that works. So whatever it is, and when people say, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time for this. I have. If you want it, you will make room for it. And if you make room, that means you're moving something else out of the way to intentionally have that thing to come in because that's how you make room. That's, that's the only way that you can make room. You have to get rid of something else. And usually that something else is really a distraction. It's not that important. And you need to de-junk and you need to detox. Thank you so much for the hearts. I appreciate you. Thank you, Robert. You've got to, you know, if you want it, you'll make room for it. People will do whatever they want to do. They will make room for whatever they want. If you want to, look, if you want to eat junk, you will eat junk. If you want to eat healthy, you will eat healthy. It's a life consists of choices. What are you going to make room for? Do you have a high capacity or a low capacity? questions out there so you have to be able to decide life consists of choices life somebody type that in for me life consists of choices life consists of choices so do you choose to endure we, we hear about this all the time endure hardship like a good soldier Stop acting like some strange thing has come upon you. You know, we act surprised and we don't we don't know what's going on. You know what's going on, but can you? Thank you so much. Life consists of choices, but we have to be able, we have to be able to choose your battles. Because this is going to this is what's going to uh, show and evidence just how much capacity of love you really have. Patience you really have joy you really have focus you really have it's it's going to evidence what you have then you shall know them by their fruit you shall know them by their fruit that which is manifested that's what's going to be evidenced because people can talk a good game but you you just you just watch them and see what they're doing yes focus is definitely key it's, look, it's the key. <laughs> it's the key. It's the key. And what does a key do? A key comes to do what? Unlock. It comes to 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 unlock. That's what it does. So you can lock the door of your past and you can unlock the door of your future. Life consists of choices. So what capacity are you serving in? What capacity do you have for truth? What capacity do you have for even rebuke when you need to be corrected? Do you have the capacity to just to withstand? Because that's what it means. Capacity means to withstand, to hold, to contain. Some people, look, you can't handle the truth. <clears throat> Some people can't handle the truth. You try to tell something, tell them something, and what happens? They get, they get offended. They, they oh wow, da 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 da. No, you just don't have no capacity. You don't have no depth to you. That's what that means. That's what that means. No depth. No depth. No capacity. No capacity. No capacity. So, look. It doesn't always feel good. Okay. All right, Robert. Yeah. 
Yeah, offense is a personal issue, but offense also has an assignment. Offense has an assignment. The assignment of offense is to get you to disengage from something or someone that is divinely purposed in your life. And it also has to do with, if you're offended, that means you're walking in unforgiveness. If you're walking in unforgiveness, you alone will have the problem because that other person will be living a life doing whatever it is they do. And they ain't thinking about you. And you will be stuck. So, if, uh, yeah, offense has an assignment. You know, that's why Yeshua says, woe to the one that gives the offense. But you don't, but you, you don't have time to be offended. Because you're trying to make room for the things of the kingdom. You're trying to make room for the things of God. You're trying to make room for revelation and information and, and documentation that's going to take you from where you currently are to where you need to be. I'm talking about capacity. I'm talking about capacity, capacity, capacity. So you have to be the sound and the voice print of God in the earth. And you can't do that if there's no depth to you. Intimacy with God. So capacity. And, and speaking of intimacy with God, do you have the capacity for that? I, I mean, we, we say we want the glory. We, we want to be close to him. He said, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Capacity. 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 All right, this gonna, I told y'all this is gonna be a short one. I gotta come back. Oh, yeah, cause I gotta I gotta class I gotta do. But I will be back. I will be back. Um, what time? Capacity means the ability to withstand. Capacity means to withhold, or with, withstand, or to contain. I'm sorry. Yes, capacity. C A P A C I T Y. Capacity. It means to withstand. It also has to do with position. Like what capacity do you function in? Yes, capacity. Okay, first timer. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, let me get out of here. Um, I'm going to try to be back on a little bit later. You're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you so much for the hearts. Thank you so much for sharing with your followers and sharing on your timeline on Facebook and on Twitter. God bless you. You guys have an amazing day. Shabbat Shalom. Do you have the capacity that it takes to do what you need to do to get to where you say you want to be? Capacity. Shabbat Shalom.